Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move forward. All right. This is an older story. This is about the black farmers out of Colorado who are facing domestic terror- terrorism by local whites who say they are trying to steal their land. A black couple re- uh, rebuilt their lives after losing uh, everything in a hurricane. They never thought they'd be thrown into a fight or a ranch and possibly their lives in a predominantly white and hostile Colorado county. Okay, we go ahead and say it. We got to say it. Go ahead. Why would you go to an all white county? Oh, you thought because Kanye West is out there, you could go out there? No, he's in Utah, ain't he? No, he's in Colorado. Oh, I thought he was in Utah. Okay. Somebody tell us in the chat. Every night at Freedom, uh, the Freedom Acres Ranch is a uh, is a gamble and life and death for black cattleman Courtney and M. Stay there still. Mallory and his wife, Nicole. <laughs> As of late, he most likely will find tools destroyed, a prize uh, calf stolen, or one of his hogs with their entrails spewing from, the sh- uh, from their sh- slit bellies. Beheaded and butchered goat carcasses on a common, our common site. Recently, his newly wild born calf vanished. Not long ago, the mother of his, I don't know, his puppies was poisoned along with several pigs. Often he picks up animal remains on the farm and has to, <laughs> has had to put out fires like when the chicken coop was set ablaze. You dealing with all this instead of just get the hell away from them. Well, you know, some people would say, well, it's a free country. They should be able to live wherever they want to live. Um, I don't know why nothing has been done. They don't have no uh, cameras and stuff set up on their property to see who's doing this type of stuff. It's not being reported to the police. The police are not doing anything. And the police aren't doing anything. Uh, That makes the situation more tenuous. Sorry, tenuous. The Maury's fence has been damaged over 10 times. Frequently, they must replace surveillance equipment. They got cameras. After they see strangers pointing a device toward their cameras, which ends up jamming them and taking out the, the signal. Plus, their electricity line has been cut and neighbors have stolen water, well water by running an illegal line from their source. See, why you ain't pop one of these people? It seems like you could have been done, made some action happen. One day, Courtney was chased by a white man when repairing a portion of his fence. Uh, the aggressor, who was in a car, gunned for Corey, who made it to his vehicle in just enough time to dash away in a hellish pursuit. Once he made it to the end of the property, the man stared the other way. Hold on. Why? Okay. This sound like a movie. This, this this sound like a damn movie. So you're telling me this man tried to run you down with a car and you ain't... Like, what we doing? You didn't have a gun on you? You know what's going on on your, on your property. I, don't I mean, know I'm just saying. They, they love being around these people. Somebody should have been shot by now. One evening, uh, Nicole... Oh, I saw that. One evening, Nicole was followed by a white woman who almost ran her car off the road, then put on the high beams and pulled out what looked like a gun. The confrontation was exceptionally un- unnerving because Nicole was returning from a church function with her visiting nieces and nephew. Once or twice a week, strange white people sh- uh, drive slowly by their ranch, stop and take pictures or video, and sometimes bring their guns at them. The couple is frequently follow, especially while they're in town. As a result, they rarely travel and are mindful at what time clearly they are unwanted. Even if, even the, uh, the post office workers ask, why are you here? Why we're here, says Courtney. A regular phrase told to Courtney is that he has a lot of balls to be purchased land in a mostly white community. He puts me on edge. What puts me on edge is that everyone knows us and how we look, but we don't know them, Courtney tells Art Republic. I'm going to say this. Jesus Christ. Do you okay? We're not gonna read this whole thing. You leave. get the you get the point of what's happening. You just think it should leave, sell it and leave. Oh, this is this is the time where you sue the town, get your money, and sue leave for and discrimi- go somewhere else. Well, are they, are they discriminated against them? Yes, the they're shop- discriminated against them. Oh, are the shops not selling to them? They didn't say that. They just they said that they've been told why you're here. You you doing a lot being here. The, you know, clown, the town balls. is clearly tormented them by doing the shit that they're describing that they're doing to them. This is a community itself. So you would sue the, sue, sue the, neighbor, sue the uh, city. And if you can what? sue somebody for not pumping your gas, you definitely should be able to get some money out of the town uh, pretty much torturing you. <laughs> Hold on. So the chat didn't stop again. I know it does that when um, you've gone for too long out of it. 
it, it automatically yeah, it, it automatically does it. Well, hold on. <clears throat> so you just sell it and leave. Yeah. You just let them get away with all that shit they did and just sell and it. Didn't I say I'm assuming? Well, that ain't enough, is it? What what you what? Try to, you what take, I'm gonna do? You, what you want me to do to him? You pulled a gun on my wife. You chased me down in a car. You want me to kill him? Well, I'm gonna catch him slipping. You gonna try if you try to do something again, you know. So your plan is to whoop somebody ass I ain't say and then leave. Ass. I ain't say whoop their ass. Is you gonna stay or you gonna go? I'll probably leave too. Okay. But I probably would but it's different. I wouldn't never been there. I wouldn't never been there either. That's why you check out places before you go. Before you move somewhere, you would go meet the town people, check out the local area to see to get a vibe of where you at. You just don't move into no random place. What's wrong with these Negroes? Well, I'm sure they didn't just move into the, the They ranch. had to, because I'm white people wouldn't have been fake and being friendly with them. They would have let them know up for the get-go. What are you doing here? That's Come true. on. That's you true. know they didn't check out the town, dude. Come on. <laughs> clearly they didn't check out the town. Well, clearly they did. Not a, not good enough, obviously. Right, let's move on. <laughs>